No time for a proper introduction today. We are running, I'm not gonna say we're late, but we're definitely not early. Also, my train horn stopped working at random, so let's take a look and see what's going on. Oh, well, looks like the tube slipped off of the compressor. Yeah, it's definitely not gonna stay, so we're probably gonna have to get some type of adhesion promoter in there. Hmm. And that is my review of the Amazon train horn. There's currently a high wind advisory in Orange County and San Bernardino, and I literally watched a shopping cart this morning blow right into the front bumper of my truck. Don't know if you can see it on camera, but there is a nice scratch and a scuff right there. That's that's new, I didn't see that one until now. Dang. I felt so helpless in the moment. I saw the cart on its way to hitting my truck and there was nothing I can do because I was just a little bit too far. Not a good feeling. Today is the day. We are finally getting a new exhaust on the Ram. I am so excited. Okay, so we also might be picking up something else for the truck as well, so stay tuned. We are in Orange County. We have to get down to San Diego, like ASAP, so it's definitely time to go. Whoa, that one's sick. Ram Nation, we are out here taking over the freeway. We have a 4x4 2500 and another 4x4 2500. Neither one of these have ever touched dirt. Welcome to San Diego, home of the Magnaflow headquarters. I am so excited. Okay, um, let's see, where do we go, where do we go? Magnaflow equipped, I think we're in the right place. This is so sick. From every direction, all you hear is a symphony of exhausts. All right, we're here. Look how massive this building is. Okay, so we're going beyond the gates. I'm not allowed in there, but I guess we'll just walk around. So my exhaust is currently getting installed in this building right here. This is also where they do the R&D. They basically invent the exhaust over here. And then on this side next door is where they have the production of their exhausts, which is like three times the size of this place, which is like 90,000 plus square feet. So the enormity of these locations is really hard to pick up on camera, I'm sure, but dang. This place is massive. So I've been given the keys to a brand new Ram 2500. That was locked. 2500 turbo diesel. This thing is sick. Whoa, I am not used to seeing a column shifter anymore. That to me is pretty unique these days. But overall, this is a very similar truck on the interior. Of course, mine has the 12 inch screen. This one does not. We have a few more buttons here on the steering wheel and a few less over here also it's kind of funny how they mass produce these vehicles and they give you the exact same dash kit on the 2500 as they do with the 1500 this is normally where the shifter would be on 1500s and they just give you this empty cutout here on the 25s so if you guys have found a thing to put in there that worked and didn't fly out uh let me know because i don't know what i would put there if i owned this truck it would just kind of be chilling there empty but anyways this is my truck all grown up i feel like i am so excited i cannot wait for the truck to get finished up so we're just chilling in the meantime we're just gonna chill hmm yeah we're just gonna chill it's also really hot so i might crank the ac up but otherwise i don't know what else to do except wait so i just pulled out of the parking lot pulling up to the first main street i'm about to rip on this thing right now Yes! Now we are out here in the city of Temecula, which is the Inland Empire, from Orange County to San Diego. Now we're in the IE, picking up a set of tires I found. We are going 35s, baby, and we are getting some new wheels too. We're going 20s, so we're gonna have some bigger wheels and some bigger tires. I think it just calls for it. 18s are a little too small. But yeah, I gotta find out where I'm going, so. If I were a set of wheels, where would I be? I think, I think in there is where we're going. I'm gonna go ahead and let them know I'm here real quick. <laughs> oh, that sounds so good. All right, um, that's probably rude. What is with the rev limiter at 4,000? Weak. We have the tires all aboard. Time to head back home and drop these things off at the house. It's also 94 degrees out here. So if you know anything about the city of Irvine, which is where I live, 
It's known for being one of the safest cities in America. It's also known for being completely owned by like one company. But aside from that, there really isn't a whole lot to do. We're very limited on open space and any open space that we do have gets leveled down and homes and businesses get built right on top. Kind of running low on open space to explore. Temecula, on the other hand, every which way I look, is it's open there's like open space every which way you turn everywhere you look out here there's an off-roading trail there's an off-roading shop there's trucks there's razors there's jeeps we might want to one day in the near future move out to temecula because the amount of land you can get out here little cheaper than orange county if you can even find land and if you can be prepared to drop a bag Why is the music on? It's an exhaust video. Well, I feel like right now might be a good time to drop a few clips of the stock exhaust before we run it with the Magnaflow. Not bad, not bad for a stock setup, but Magnaflow. This is the powder coated black uh, Street Series Catback Performance Exhaust System part number 19430. So I'll put a link in the description below for this. I think the powder coated black one for my truck looks a lot better considering I have everything kind of satin blacked out already with the roof, with the wheels. All right, welcome to the undercarriage of the truck. We have one pipe that leads right into the muffler, which by the way, look how shiny this thing is. Super polished and laser etched Magnaflow right there. If you guys can see it, it's there. So we have stainless steel all the way through. All the tubing is mandrel bent, so it's super smooth throughout the bends, keeping the sound flowing properly. And this system does not have any resonators. Not a true dual. We have one pipe that goes into the muffler and then on the other side of the muffler, the two pipes come out the back end of the muffler, go over the axle and out the back end. Keep in mind this, if you plan on doing this on your Ram at home, you just plan on crawling underneath the truck and removing the old exhaust yourself and replacing it, you are going to need a cutoff tool to remove the left side pipe. The driver's side pipe does have to be cut off when removing it if you are on the ground because it is welded as one piece. So removing it is extremely difficult, if even possible, to remove it on the floor because of the angle of the maneuvering. Luckily for me, my friends over at Magnaflow installed this for me because that was not something that I was looking forward to doing. Done it before, not something I really wanted to do this time again. So now we're in business. We have the Magnaflow exhaust all set up. I hope you guys enjoyed 
the sound. Mid next week, we are installing the new wheels and the new tires. We're going 35s on 20s. You guys are not gonna wanna miss it. It is going to be a game changer for the truck. The 18s on the 34s are nice. It's a good daily setup, but 35s on 20s. 35s on 20s are good too. But that is all I have for you guys today. As always, hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you guys on the next one. Till then, peace out. Oh, 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 oh,